Hello, this is Adam. Hey Adam, this is Ben with AE Realty. How are you doing today? Pretty good. Awesome. Adam, I'm just following up with you really quick because we noticed you might have clicked on the Facebook ad that we run and you viewed some properties on our website, a handful, and we're just wondering if you're considering making a move. Uh, we're thinking about it, just kind of in the browsing stages right now. Okay. If you don't mind me asking, Adam, what's your current situation right now? Do you rent or do you own where you're staying at? Uh, we own we own our home currently. Awesome. How long have you been there for? Uh, so you bought this house back in 2010, I believe it was. 2010 is a while back. A little over 10 years ago. Okay. And so over that course of about 10, 11 years, roughly, you know, you've developed some great equity in that home. And I just want to ask you, Adam, what upgrades have you done to your house? Yeah, well, we, um, we did quite a bit, actually. We put a deck out back, a uh, really nice deck. I uh, worked on it myself. Um, we updated the kitchens, the bathrooms. We hate carpets, so we put tile throughout the whole house. Uh, I know some people you know, prefer a little more carpet, but we've got tile in the bedrooms, tile in the, in the living areas, uh, and we repainted the whole exterior of the house too. So we've really tried to, try to keep it in good condition. Awesome. If you don't mind me asking, you know, what, what piqued your interest in wanting to consider moving in the first place? You know, what, are, is your current house not fitting your needs or you need a downsize or upsize? Yeah, I mean, at some point we're going to need a little more space. Like this house has just gotten a little too small. Um, our family has grown over the past 10 years or so. And so at some point, I mean, it's not really uncomfortable right now, but at some point we're going to need a bigger, a bigger place. Of course. Well, if you don't mind me asking, how many bedroom and bath is your current home? Uh, it's a three, three, two. A right three now, two? a three, two. Yeah. Okay. And what would you be needing in, in your next home? At least a four, possibly a five, if we could. Okay. We've got a lot of, a lot of kids. So. And is there any type of amenities you want to be close by or, you know, any outdoor living space that you like with the house? Or? Um, we like, we're outdoorsy folks, so we would prefer, a, you know, a good sized backyard. We've got a couple of dogs too, so... Um, but outside of that, I mean, we're open. We don't, we're not really too picky. I mean, as long as it's a decent neighborhood and we would prefer to be on like the northwest side of town if, if we could do that too, so. Okay. And would being in a good school district matter to you? Do you have any children or anything? Yeah, yeah, we've got five kids. Um, all of them right now are in North, north Side Independent School District. Um, and so, I mean, we're, we're happy with this school district, so. I mean, the schools, as long as they're, with, as long as they're in the north side uh, ISD, we should be fine. Okay. And just for my note's sake, I, know you, I, I noticed you said we, um, is there a Mrs.? Or? Yep, there certainly okay. is. And, what, and what's her name, if you don't mind uh, me asking? Courtney. Courtney? Uh-huh. Awesome. What does Courtney do for a living? Uh, Courtney, she's, she's a teacher, um, but right now uh, she has been taking some time away from work uh, to really uh, get our younger kids situated because they're a handful. But by trade, she's a she's a teacher. Awesome. And what do you do for a living, if you don't mind? Me, I own a local business. Um, we do uh, roofing uh, repairs. We also do like water softeners and stuff like that. I've been doing it for last six years or so, and so we do a lot of um, you know mostly roofs, and then uh, we've gotten into water softeners about three years back. So we've been doing that too. Nice. And mm -hmm. what what got you started in that in that business? Well, you know, my dad used to be a roofer, and so uh, I didn't jump into the family business right away, but, you know, after college and after, you know, some time uh, in the corporate world, I, you know, really started to appreciate my dad's business, and so I kind of took it over for him, uh, and then I had somebody come to me with the water, uh, the water softener uh, opportunity, and so we started doing that, too. Awesome. So. Awesome. Yeah, it's great. Uh, you know, being a small business owner, you get a little bit more freedom, a little bit more control over the company. Are you guys currently taking on any more business? We are. Yeah, absolutely. If you know anybody. Yeah, of course. I mean, here at the real estate office, we have a property management group and they manage a handful of houses that, you know, oftentimes will need some work. Um, you know, if there's a leak in the roof or, you know, water softener needs to be changed or anything like that. We definitely love to keep that in mind and talk a little bit more about that. We have a uh, brand ambassador program where we kind of market our stuff for you, uh, market your stuff. And so I'd like to share a little bit more about that. But I noticed you said you're in the corporate world and what, what did you do before you got into the business? I actually went to school for accounting and finance and so I, I did that for a while, but kind of wanted to get out, get outdoors a little bit. So 
um, but it helps to have that background with my business too. Yeah, of course. Well, Adam, you know, it's been a great conversation and based off, you know, what you what we talked about, I think it would be beneficial for us if we went out to meet you at your property to give you a CMA about your what how much your current house can go for if you want to sell it or if you'd like to retain it and keep it as a rental asset. We definitely love to put together this piece of information for for you and also share some off-market listings that might pique your interest in what you need. Does this Saturday work for us to come out there and present this paperwork to you? Oh, you mean to actually like sell my home? Market analysis to sell my home? Correct. Okay. Um, I'll have to talk to my wife about it. She, you know, she can get a little nervous about stuff like this, even though she's the one that told about a year ago, said that we needed to start looking at other places. But let me talk to her first, and uh, can I call you back at this number? Yeah, of course. Well, how about this, Adam? What I'll do for you is I'm going to tentatively put you down for Saturday, let's say at 2 p.m. to give you guys some time to sleep in and enjoy your day off. And I'll follow up with you on Friday to make to see if, you know, if Saturday would be a good time. If not, we can always reschedule, but we'd definitely love to get this prop this information out to you as soon as possible. Because in this market that we're moving in right now, it is a seller's market. So the properties are coming and going and we definitely hate for you to miss out on your potential next dream home. So, you know, the, the sooner we can get this information to you and, and give you all your options the way, you know, the sooner we'll be able to, to get you into a bigger home and you'll be able to continue to grow your family and be in a more comfortable space. Yeah, I've heard that it's a seller's market. That's why we were worried. We were kind of thinking it'd be best to, because, you know, we, I've got all these kids and and it's going to be such a huge headache moving and things like that. We probably figured it'd be better to find the place first and then worry about selling our home later. That'd probably make the most sense, right? Um, it can. It can. It, depending on if you're going to be buying cash or if you'll need financing. Are you going to, are you going to be buying cash or will you need no, financing? No, no, we're going to need a mortgage. Okay. So the way, we can, the way we can go about this, because you're going to be selling and buying, we can pre-approve you on a, on a contingency. Meaning, you know, to get into your next home, you'd have to sell this current home. Or if you qualify with both mortgages, you wouldn't even have to worry about selling your home just yet. You know, you can get into the new property without having to sell first. But in the event that you might need to sell first, you know, because you're also selling, you have a little, you have a lot of power in this market. And our realtors are very skilled in negotiating you a contingency to where, you know, you could you could live in your current home and find your next home without have without having to pack up right away and potentially staying at a hotel or having to stay with family or anything like that, because you have all the leverage in when it comes to negotiating with with your buyer with your potential buyers on your home. Hmm. So I could, what if somebody comes and I I sell my house and they're ready to move in, but I don't find my ne next house yet. What do I do then? So that's when we come to negotiate. And so we can, so our realtors can negotiate with them, you know, stating that you haven't found a home quite yet, and we can ex we can ask the realtor who's representing the buyer to to see if it would be okay with extending closing until you find your home. Typically, closings are about 30, 45 days, and so we can we can negotiate to extend that in the event that the buyer is willing to extend that. And because we're in the seller's market. You know, most buyers are willing to work with the seller in this case because they understand also, you know, that finding a house in this in this particular market could be a little challenging. Yeah, sounds complicated. Sounds sounds. <laughs> so okay, well, I'll let you I'll let you explain that to my wife because you know I'm not gonna try to explain that to her. So, but yeah, that's fine. Okay. All right, so then I'll put you down for Saturday at 2 p.m. and sure. we, can, we can go out there and, and let you look at all your options. And then from there, you know, we'll get the ball rolling for you and take you, you out to some properties. You got it. I'm all right. righty, Adam. Well, I look forward to seeing you and Courtney this weekend. Okay, bye. All right, bye. That's one thing you want to get really good with is explaining a contingency in this market. Because that's like people's biggest fear is like, I'm going to sell my home because it's easy to sell a home. Everybody knows that right now. It's really easy to sell your home, but then I'm not going to be able to find the next home because it's challenging to find the next home. So, like, it, what Benjamin was explaining there was a contingency sale. But most people, like, once you start talking about it, they kind of glass over a little bit, and it's like, no, that sounds too complicated. But it's real simple, it's the same transaction. In one transaction, we're gonna sell your home and get you into the next place in the same deal, okay? If it can't happen in the same deal, then you don't move. You know, that's just that simple. And everybody else has to work with you and has to 
make things attractive for you because you're the seller and you're in control. That's simple, you know. So that way, you know, you don't get kind of caught up. And even the word contingency kind of freaks people out a little bit because they're like, what does that mean exactly? Yeah. So, but good job, Ben. You know, he asked some great questions about the home. He got me talking. Uh, he worked Ford Family Occupation Recreation Dreams. Uh, and so good job, my friend. I was giving a little bit of a hard time. But, but you know, to tell you the truth, I've known realtors in the business for, you know, 15, 20 plus years that don't have the courage to invite themselves over to somebody's house. And if you figure out how to do that, whether you're a lender or a real estate professional, if you become confident in inviting yourself over to somebody's home, that's when you that's when you succeed at a high level in real estate. So let's try again. Okay, this time you're Adam. Okay, Adam uh, Draven, right? What was the Draven, Mr. Draven? Okay, ring, ring. Hello. Uh, good morning. May I speak to Mr. Adam Draven, please? This is he. Hey, Adam. It's Carl Bishop with AE Realty. I'm just giving you a quick follow-up call. I see you were on Facebook last night looking at some uh, properties here on our website. I wanted to thank you for using the site. And I'm curious, Mr. Draven, are you considering making a move in the near future? Uh, no, I'm not. I accidentally clicked on the ad, you know, uh, I saw the pretty house, but definitely not interested though. Thank you. Respect. Thank you for calling. No, no, no. Thank you. Thank you. If, and I will only take a couple minutes of your time. I understand it was a mistake, but it's a mistake that I appreciate because you're, uh, you're on our site and I appreciate you looking on that. And so I'm curious, what's your what's your situation now, Mr. Draven? Are you renting? Do you own the home you're living in now? Um, I'm renting right now. I am. Okay. Renting right now. Have you ever owned a home in the past? I have not. Okay. So you would, but you do want to own a home at some point. Is that is that a fair statement? At some point, probably not like within the next year or two though. I'm pretty happy where I'm at. You pretty know, just getting here. just getting started with life. So I'm not really I'm not really trying to bite off more than I can chew. Understood. Understood. Hey, I respect that. That's good stuff. So, what are you in an apartment or is it a uh, is it a rental home? I'm in an apartment. Okay, in an apartment. All right. Uh, how long have you been at that apartment? Uh, I just moved in like three months ago. Three months so, ago. Okay. Yeah, still, still kind of getting stuff worked out here. Okay. You liking it so far? Is the neighbors all right? Yeah, I love How's it. Everything going. There? Fourth floor. I got nobody above me. Okay. Um, you know, it's typically quiet. Great amenities here. They have a really good gym here. Nice. So I'm not really, you know, I mean, man, I guess this is as good as it gets when it comes to apartments, right? Well, I mean, if you enjoy it, you know, give it a little more time. We'll see how things are, you know, in, in months from now. But hey, you know, I've heard of some good apartment complexes where people are happy there. So I know me, I was never happy in an apartment. My car got broken into probably like seven times while I was living in apartments. Of course, I wasn't probably living in nice apartments like you, Adam. <laughs> I was living in dumps. So... <laughs> But tell me, what do you do for a living? I'm in IT. You're in IT? Oh, very cool. Yeah, I'm in That's IT. Great. Did you go to college for that, or did you just get into it? Uh, YouTube University. YouTube University. I took a quick, a you know, one. Google cer certification, and, okay. you know, I just I, I just started from there, really. That's great. So what company are you with? I'm, I'm working for Frost. I Frost, do, I, Frost I, I develop some of their, um, like, software to prevent hacking and all that. That's so. great. That's where we do all of our uh, business banking. You guys will be happy with uh, with uh, Frost. Nice. So tell me, um, how long have you? Um, so you did you grow up here in San Antonio? Long time San Antonian. Um, okay. I lived in California for a little bit as well. My father was military, but um, oh, cool. now I'm back here. Cost of living is extremely cheaper than yeah over there. So. Just, Kind of do my thing here. That's awesome about your dad. My dad was in the Air Force too. That's, oh, nice. that's how we ended up in San Antonio. He was stationed down at Brooks Air Force Base, and so I uh, love that. Love that. Okay, well, uh, Adam, it sounds like you're a young guy and you got some good stuff going for you. You got a good job, and and so look, one of the things I'm passionate about is helping younger people get into real estate early. I mean, I bought my first house when I was 28 years old. I feel like I got a late start, but. I'm 40 now, and that house that I bought when I was 28, I bought it for 130 k and now it's worth like 280 k So I've got $150,000 in equity, and I like helping other people do that. And if I can help a younger person do that, I get even more excited about that. So I know you're looking, and I know it's kind of somewhat of a mistake clicking on the site, but has anybody ever told you about like the first-time home buyer programs and, and those the, the different mortgage programs we have specifically designed for folks like you? Um, no, they haven't, but if I'm being honest with you though, um, you know, I just moved into my place here, like still getting furniture set up and all that stuff. Um, you know, I'm not, I'm not really that interested right now. Um, okay. 
No, I respect that. I respect that. But how much are you paying in rent right now, Adam? I'm paying about twelve fifty. Twelve fifty. Okay. So you signed a twelve month lease, right? Correct. Okay. So you've been there three months. At the end of twelve months, uh, you have spent around fifteen grand in rent, um, and that money will be directly in the pocket of the person that owns the apartment complex. How would you like to have that fifteen grand in your pocket? How exciting would that be? I mean, obviously, it sounds nice. But like having to move again and considering moving again, stuff like that, like, man, dude, being honest, it's a lot of anxiety. Like it stresses me out. You know, I just want to stay put for a little bit. Sure. And it, I can understand the stress, but something that can give you a little bit of stress relief is that we've helped literally thousands of young people like you. We've helped thousands of families in the exact same position you are. And it's simply not okay for us to come across people like you that just throw money away in rent. We want to help you put that money away for your future, for your family, uh, for your vacation uh, ideas and things like that in the future. So it all starts with a meeting. Uh, we basically get together for about 30 to 45 minutes. And you know whether you're going to make this happen this year or five years from now, it doesn't really matter to us. We want to help you with the plan. We want to get you on the right track. I can tell too that uh, you know you're the type of young man that uh, you know is a hardworking person. So who knows? There may be other opportunities in our conversation as well. I've got a little office over here off of Days of Zavala and I-10. What does your schedule look like this week, uh, Adam? Are you working all week? Do you have a day off? I get I get Wednesdays off. Wednesdays. Okay, let me open up my Wednesday calendar. So I've got two openings on Wednesday. I've got one at 9 a.m. and one at 2 p.m. What time's better for you, Adam? Let's do two. Let's do okay. two. Okay. So Adam, I've got your email here is adamtheitguy at gmail.com. Is that still a good one for you? That is a good one. Great, great. All right, so I'm going to send you a little text message as well with my uh, address and a reminder. Looking forward to meeting with you and uh, talking it up a little bit and helping you guys get into a home at the at some point in the future. Okay? Yeah, so just a quick question for, before I let you go. Sure. What is this meeting about? So it's essentially a planning session. Okay. It's basically taking... All the details, not necessarily all about home ownership, but we want to take all the diff different financial information, uh, how much your down payment's going to be, if you even need a down payment at all, what your credit scores will need to be. Uh, we can actually give you some mortgage options if it's necessary. If not, we can just help you with the right information, uh, the right planning, so when your lease does expire, or even before your lease expires, or after the next lease, after this one expires, you'll be ready to get into a home. That's what we do for you. So, so you're not you're not going to try to sell me on anything, right? Like I'm not going to get in there and my arm's going to get twisted to buy this house or anything, like. Absolutely not. As a matter of fact, you may not even be able to buy the home. You're in a lease right now, so it's just simply a planning session. So we definitely don't want to sell you anything that you're not prepared <laughs> to buy, and uh, we will try to sell you something when it is time for you to buy something. And so it's a planning session, nothing more, but you leave with a ton of great, great information and there's a ton of value associated with this information. So there'll certainly will be a great return on your investment of gas, time, et cetera. We value your time tremendously. So looking forward to getting together with you, Adam. Okay? Yeah, sounds like a plan. Though. All right, so we'll see you on Wednesday, buddy. Take Alrighty. care. All right, Thanks. bye. Um, young guy, you know, um, kind of non-committal. You find a lot of people like that. Uh, pain points, adding up how much rent they're going to pay over the next 12 months, putting a dollar figure to that. He was going to pay 12.50 a month, 12 months. That's 15 grand that uh, he's essentially going to put into somebody else's pocket when she could put into his own. That's a pain point. Typically, that'll get people off the fence, kind of moving towards an appointment with us. Uh, also, um, uh, first-time homebuyer programs, things like that. Those are all hook statements that can get a person thinking, yeah, I've heard of that somewhere before. That does make sense. I do need to go and talk to this person. I'm incredibly passionate about helping young people get into real estate early. I mean, it's a huge step. In every single case, if a person buys a piece of real estate, you know, in their early 20s, mid 20s, I mean, by the time they get to their 30s and 40s, they're, you know, 10 times more financially abundant than, you know, people that don't. And so something I'm super passionate about. So I wasn't going to let him not come in. He was going to come in and meet with me no matter what. So even if I had to go pick him up. So. <laughs> All right, that'll be it for today. We'll see you guys.